What it do, what it do, what it do. This is broadcast for WHS. I'm your host, Smell Live in the Flesh, and today is another beautiful day. I have a beautiful day. Good morning, Wildcats. I hope you guys woke up in high spirits today because I know I sure did. First up on the show, we have an interview with Dana. Here we go. Hello, everyone. This is Dana. Welcome to an interview with two of our fellow students who run their very own small business, might I add, jewelry business. Their names are respectively Chloe who runs CNC Precious Gems Online Boutiques, and Ayesha, who runs Accessorias and Etc. And without further ado, let us start. Accessorias and Etc. We sell um, jewelry, we're mainly um, earrings and necklaces, and um, I only sell on Instagram, so every time I post, um, p- people who follow my account are able to message me, tell me what they want to order. And if you live in Cerritos, you can either um, wait for delivery on the weekends, or I can mail it to yeah. you, but you have to pay on Venmo. So for me, rather than my business, it is my mom and I's business, which we're both co-owners of. The name of our online jewelry business boutique was CNC, which stands for my mom and I's name, Chloe and Cherry or Cherry and Chloe. We are still a growing business and have already sold thousands of products. In terms of services and products that we do offer, we offer real authentic and affordable gold jewelry, which are shipped and created by our suppliers from Saudi and Japan. Sometimes we sell diamond jewelry, but most of the products are gold. For the buying selling process, you have a choice to either buy items through our Facebook live selling, which we usually do two to three times a week for four to six hours each, or message us privately through Facebook Messenger or to pre-order products through our page. You can also um, go through our Instagram. Basic contact mailing and payment information is then required where you have an option to pay through Zelle, Venmo, PayPal, or cash if you pick up. If you then decide that, then you can pick up the item at our location, of course, safely, or to have it shipped to the address you provide. I noticed that this year, um, a lot of small businesses became really popular. And since we're in quarantine, I, like, as like everyone else, I wanted to like try a new hobby. And I've always been interested in like jewelry, especially since it became more popular in fashion, like with like layering necklaces or like wearing like minimalist jewelry. And I wanted to try that myself. And I didn't want to like I actually don't want to go out and buy stuff, so I would, like, I, and there's always, like, a bunch of, like, jewelry I wanted to make on my own, but um, since since it's, like, hard, hard to, like, buy stuff, like, specifically, um, I had to, I wanted to, like, make it for cheaper, mm-hmm. and um, when I made it, it was actually, it wasn't, it was really fun and, like, really easy, so I wanted to, like, share that with others, and since I had a lot, a, a lot of, like, extra stuff, too, I thought it would be fun to, like, sell, and yeah. So my mother and I had the idea of starting this business and were inspired by other online live sellers on Facebook. And we like the idea of selling jewelry as well. We both enjoy a business where we can directly make connections and acquaint ourselves with other people. And I also needed a way to make money for my nonprofit organization, which I will be officially reviving probably in March, but <laughs> somewhere in March, it's, which is Box of Hospitality, if you haven't heard. So my main piece of advice, do not start a business expecting it to be easy and laid back process. Like how you should said, it takes a lot of time and effort. And don't think of it as a way to earn money quickly, because as I said, a lot of effort, you know, and if you have a lot of stress on your shoulders from schoolwork for the sake of your mental health, do not start business unless you're sharing a workload with someone or you're extremely determined. Live within your means, okay? And also be prepared to remind people that you are young in age, but not in knowledge, because there will be people who look down on you for your age. And also have a mentor or someone who is experienced in the business world. Thanks for that, Dana. Now we have a video for Women's History Month with Athena. Hello everyone! Today we are going to be playing a game of Fact or Myth with Girl Up Cabby. You guys can introduce yourselves. Hi, I'm Kayla. I'm the president of Girl Up. Hi, I'm Kiara and I'm the vice president of Girl Up. Hi, I'm Trija and I'm the treasurer. Hi, I'm Yusenia and I'm head of communications. Hi, I'm Ashwarya and I'm a director of fundraising. Great, thank you guys all for coming here today. So as I said, we'll be playing a game of Factor Myth and how this works is that I will give the Girl Up Cabby five statements and they have signs showing them whether it is a fact or it is a myth. Afterwards, I'll be giving a brief statement about why it is true or false. Okay, let's start. feeling everyone's gonna know what all these statements are because you guys are correct it is false so birth control is used for preventing pregnancy however they are also used to treat irregular periods cramps acne and other conditions such as polycystic ovary syndrome and endometriosis
great job, you guys. It is false. Okay, so not every woman gets their period and not every female who gets a period considers themselves a woman. Additionally, men may still get their periods just as transgender women might not have periods. So menstruation isn't just a women's issue, it is a human issue. You're right, it is a factual. Women and men experience different intensities of different emotions. Um, it is also important to keep in mind that one gender does not make the other entirely absent of holding great emotions. So to hasty gener generalize women for being more emotional is harmful and simply false. Imagine someone said fact. <laughs> But it is false, thank you guys for knowing that. So the correct term used for discrimination against men is misandry. Um, simply put, feminism in its definition means the belief in economic, social, and political equality between the sexes. And last statement for you guys, so far it's four out of four, so let's hope you get this one right too. You guys slowly raised it up. <laughs> yeah, I would assume no one's had a child before, but you guys are right, it is true. So, labor contraction pain has often been described as intense menstrual cramps that increasingly get worse as time progresses. So on average, women pay over $1,000 per year for discriminatory pricing on products and services based on gender. Yep, you're right. It's called the pink tax and women often pay over a thousand and like three hundred dollars per year based on things like differences in pricing for clothing or menstrual products, beauty products because of societal standards and things women are expected to buy. So that's what the pink tax is called. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Um, I hope everyone enjoys this segment and I hope everyone that is watching learns something new today as well. So happy Women's History Month and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks Athena, last but not least, now we have a video from ASB with our election speeches. Let's go. What's up Wildcats, it's Athena Sarmiento here and while I am unopposed this year, I still wanna say thank you to be given this opportunity to be your next commissioner of spirit. I'll always make sure to keep our school spirit on top. So I'll see you guys next year, bye-bye. Hi, my name is Sarah Noing and I'm excited to announce that I'm next year's commissioner of records and alumni. What's up, Whitney? My name is Amy Ganatra, and I'm running to be your next commissioner of public relations. Serving as 7th grade class president, planning 5 class activities, Girl Up and UNICEF's underclass representative, and participating in almost all Whitney events, including talent show and international day, I believe that I'm more than qualified for this position. I have so many ideas planned for next year, with some possible themes for Faculty Appreciation Week, being a week in Hollywood, or a safari-themed adventure. I've always been passionate about serving our class and hopefully I get the chance once again. Let's make next year out of this world. Together we'll go far, vote Amy for PR. Who is Eileen? So I'm a sophomore at Whitney High School and for the past four years, I've been as involved in Whitney as I can be through sports clubs and even ASB. Why Eileen? So I currently hold three cabinet positions in three different clubs. I'm sophomore vice president and I've attended National Student Council Conference. All of these experiences have taught me so much and I hope to take the skills that I've learned into ASB with me next year. What will she do? So I hope to increase bonding within ASB so that ASB can work better together and make events even more special for all of you guys. I would also be in charge of Faculty Appreciation Week and I hope to show faculty the appreciation and love that they deserve because they do so much for us. I really hope that you don't forget, vote ER for PR. Is perfect for publicity. It's been suffering all along. Who's been making cool graphics and vids? It's been suffering all along. She's dedicated, so experienced. You'll always know about clubs and old school events. School events. She'll clean and organize everything when his publicity will be strong. Thanks to Sabrina, Pastor Sabrina, it's been Sabrina all along. Oh.
Mm-hmm. Now make mm-hmm. daily updated virtual school wide calendars too. <laughs> What's up, Wildcats? My name is Sonia Usmani, and I'm running to be your next commissioner of publicity. Previously an ASB as 7th grade class treasurer, I worked extremely hard to serve and bring my class to new heights, which is exactly what I promise to continue doing if elected next year. My goals for the next school year are very defined, yet achievable, with my strong qualities of hard work and dedication. With publicity's main job of creating paw prints, I will make them more accessible to everyone by posting them on the school website and ASB social medias. But most importantly, I want to listen to you all and implement your ideas throughout my daily duties. Thank you and vote Sonia Usmani to be your next Commissioner of Publicity. Hey Whitney, I'm Jacqueline Tran and I am happy to say that I will be serving as your next Commissioner of Clubs. I'm so excited to plan Club Rush and International Day and I hope you guys are excited for next year. Hi everyone, it's me Haley Lavador and I'm so excited to be your new Commissioner of Athletics. James Steve, really excited to be your next DIA. Let's all cheers to a great year. Long time to see Wildcats. My name is Megan Lee, and I'm ready to be your next director of dances and assemblies. As director of DNA, my job will be planning our three school dances Hello, Aloha, and Winter Formal. Serving as last year's freshman vice president and this year's commissioner of records and alumni, I've definitely proven myself to be responsible, artistic, extremely hardworking, and more than qualified to take on this position. The upcoming school year will bring new challenges and uncertainties, but don't worry. My goal is to make sure that no matter what, you guys have a whole lot to look forward to. Our annual lip sync battle, winter from a court, and fun bonding nights, just to name a few. And when we do go back to school, you can bet that I'll do everything I can to make our first year back worth the wait. Good food, more activities, a Sadie Hawkins or Halloween dance, I got you. So, vote well, Megan Lee for Director of Dances and Assemblies. What's up, Whitney? I'm Julia Modina, and I'm running to be your next Director of Dances and Assemblies. So, why should you vote for me? Well, I'm glad you asked. Reason number one, I have experience with planning events. With my three years of ASB, I've helped to plan multiple school dances. I even planned eighth grade social. Reason number two, I have new ideas. I want to incorporate more activities and games at school dances to increase participation and make sure everyone is having a great time. And reason number three, My main goal is to represent you. If elected Director of Dances and Assemblies, I will collect input from our student body when planning events to make sure your voice is heard. Don't delay, vote Julia Modina for DNA. Done. Pass to Leah. Oh, pass it to Leah. Leah, Leah, this is for you. Your next ASB treasure is Patrick Arboleta. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful. And I just can't wait to serve as a- Thank you, Patrick. Patrick is very excited to serve on ASB cabinet. On to the next speech. Hi, I'm Caroline Davis from the class of 2022, and I'm your next ASB secretary. Nice. Hey Whitney, I'm Isabel Andrian and I'm excited to be your next ASB Vice President. Hey Whitney, I'm Justin. I've had an amazing five years at Whitney High School, so I am beyond excited to be serving as your next ASB President. Well, that's all we have for the show today. We'll see you next week. Don't forget to tune in and subscribe. Bye!